e-commerce marketing tips. I have so many awesome tips to share with you. This is going to be video part one on website and branding, and we're going to get into this video right now. Okay, so I've broken these 15 tips uh, into really two major categories. First being like website and brand related, and the second one being paid ads. And to keep this video short, I'm actually gonna break it into two videos. This first one is going to be on the website and brand relation. The second one is going to be on the paid ads. You should see a link to uh, this particular video, the ad video uh, in the card here. And I'll also put a link to it in the description below. And before we move forward, be sure and subscribe to my channel uh, if you wanna stay up on the latest in e-com tips and tricks. Okay, so my number one tip, uh, and it's the first one inside my website related category. Uh, and that is really to pick the right shopping cart. Now, this is really going to apply to those of you that are brand new to e-commerce, just getting started, but this is an imperative step to get right. So I would personally suggest going with one of what I call the big three. And that is either Shopify, uh, big, big commerce or uh, WooCommerce. And all three of these platforms have tons of support, tons of built-in plug-in tools, et cetera. Um, and they really will get you started on the right path. Now, uh, I did create a video comparing Shopify to Big BigCommerce. Um, I'm going to put it into a playlist in the cards right here um, so that you can go and check out any number of different videos on how to optimize your e-com store. Tip number two, uh, once you've selected your e-com platform is really to focus on the first thing to optimize inside your store is going to be your product pages. Now put together a checklist of all the things that you need to do and go through each time you add a new product, optimize all of the tags, optimize all of the images are critical, your titles, your SEO, your design, your description, everything really take the time to get each product page dialed in because it'll show up in search uh, and it will go a long way to playing into some of your merchant feeds, etc. cetera, um, that I'll go into here in a second. But this is the first page usually that most people see when they land on your site. So make it dynamite. A couple of things that do make it dynamite are make sure you get product reviews on those pages. And another super easy one to do is create your own uh, product unboxing video doesn't have to take long. It can be maybe a minute, minute and a half, uh, clean it up, edit it down and just put that in there in the gallery with the rest of the images or down in the description. But a video will go a long way to selling your product. If you like these videos that I make full of tips and tricks, then let me know by liking this video because more people will get an opportunity to see it. If you like it. Tip number three is to use <laughs> tip. Number three is to use rich snippets for your Google rich cards. Um, you can see what I'm talking about here. Basically what it will do is it will show your image in uh, a carousel or a product listing amongst other competitors right on the first page of Google. I'll put a link in the description uh, that explains really how to go about this and how to test it. Tip number four is to optimize your product feed. Now you can do this via the Google Merchant Center. There's also some plugins that you can put into Shopify, WooCommerce, etc. that'll help you optimize this. And basically it's gonna allow you to uh, use this product feed from your website with any new products you add or changes that you make to uh, for when you do uh, Google Shopping uh, ads and or when you use Facebook. So check it out. There's a link in the description for that. Okay, tip number five is to create a and maintain a robust social media presence. People want to buy from companies that have this presence. Uh, it makes them feel more comfortable. It makes them feel like you're less shady. And at the end of the day, you really can reach more people. And I know that people cringe when they think that they have to do all this social posting and things like this, but you really can outsource most all of these uh, details for somebody else to do for you. Hey guys, if you have any killer tips and tricks that you want to share for e-commerce marketing, then leave a comment below. Uh, if you don't have anything to say, then just hashtag e-commerce marketing tips. Tip number six is abandoned cart sequences, right? Use abandoned cart sequencing and emails to help bring customers back. It will 
provide you a crazy increase in the amount of people that you get. Uh, you can see it in the card, uh, in the playlist of videos. I've done a whole entire video on this topic, but you need to enable abandoned cart sequencing and uh, it comes with WooCommerce. It's a plugin. You can get it uh, standard in Shopify and BigCommerce has it as well. So implement abandoned cart sequencing. Tip number seven is to utilize uh, Facebook uh, Messenger on your uh, e-commerce site. Now you can do this in the product pages um, and that's a great place to do it. Uh, usually there's a, um, uh, you see a lot of times right above the add to cart uh, or right below the add to cart button, there's a little check box. It's already pre-checked and it has your name or your customer's name pre-filled in there. Uh, that is a very powerful thing because when they leave that checked and it goes through, it pops up on their messenger feed with information, whatever information you're going to pre-program into the messenger bot um, about uh, more deals, shop now uh, is really just a immense one-on-one -on -one tool that will lead to more conversions. Tip number eight is to set up email marketing. Ah, it's so important. And again, it's another step just like social media that so many people avoid doing, but you can automate this process like crazy. You could pre-fill out uh, emails that will go out uh, per the calendar year to your past customers when you have a Valentine's Day coupon, when you have a uh, April Fool's Day coupon, I'm trying to think of what's next on the calendar, but so on and so forth, right on through Halloween and Thanksgiving and Christmas, et cetera. Um, this can all be automated and set up and it is a very, very powerful thing. So automate your email sequences. Tip number nine is to use SMS marketing. Now you collect phone numbers from your customers. Um, it is a great thing to utilize uh, because just like Facebook Messenger, SMS marketing is has crazy high open rates and it's that one-to-one -one type of relationship or, or conversation that you're having. Uh, it is very powerful stuff. You can look to set this up by way of a plug-in uh, and it's just like the automated emails. It can go out uh, right after a purchase to check on uh, delivery. It can go on for times of the year with coupons at different holiday times that you have. You can use it in so many ways and it increases your conversion rates like crazy. And tip number 10 is to really put together packaging for your customers when you send it out. Um, nice high-end packaging goes such a long way. Brand the box. You can get your logo printed on a bunch of uh, shipping boxes so that your packages come out and they are unique to you and branded. Also, when a customer opens up this package, you need to have at least a, a postcard or a card in there that thanks them for their business, how much you appreciate them, how to reach out directly to you. Uh, if they have any questions or concerns, maybe a website address that has a video that shows people how to use whatever product it is. Um, you can use this in any number of ways. Also, if you're using multi-channel, um, uh, multi-sales channels, multiple sales channels, ah, uh, you can um, include this card to go out with your package, uh, like your Amazon or your eBay packages that ultimately uh, direct these people back to your own website with maybe a coupon for the next purchase along with that thank you. It goes such a long way and when you bring them back to your own website, you're usually increasing your profit margin. Okay guys, that's my 15 e-commerce marketing tips. And as always, I hope that you're able to take from this list and put these to good use for yourself. Be sure and subscribe to the channel to stay up on the latest in e-com and be sure and like this video so that other people get a chance to see it. And now watch this video. Go ahead and watch this video. Be near, 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 near.